This next story is fun. We've talked about the modern woman and what they expect from their men. There's, I forget what podcast it is. I keep seeing clips for on TikTok, but I started following him. And there's one girl on the clip that says he's five foot, but she won't date anybody less than five foot ten. Or a woman that says, uh, what, she's physically broke, but she needs somebody to at least make $150,000 minimum, minimum to get together. Well, now we're getting some stats that kind of support some of the ideas about how dating requires some bucks. A new survey that was put out in NBC, CNBC actually put this out. Earning less than $30,000 a year is a deal breaker for daters. Oh, boy. This is from a recent survey of 1,000 adults by Western and Southern Financial Group. The median annual salary in the United States, according to 2021 data from the U.S. Census Bureau, is $37,522. $37,522. In the survey, salary was the number one financial trait that respondents wished they had talked about sooner with their partners. More than a fourth, 27.2%, talked about salaries after getting married 18.7 percent talked about salaries after getting engaged wow now here's an interesting uh stat here from the thousand people surveyed student loan debt if it's a deal breaker <clears throat> the average of student loan debt with someone a bachelor someone with a bachelor degree has $37,574, according to data from Ed- Education Data Initiative. Men are a little more forgiving of debt than women. For men, the breaking point of debt a man will sustain in a relationship, $31,179. Women, $22,901. Personal loans and credit card debt, a source of friction while dating. And if you decide to go ahead and get together with a partner you have to ask five money questions of the same. What are your financial goals? What are your financial fears? What are your non-negotiable items? How will we blend our finances and how will we spend or save? $30,000 doesn't cut it for dating. You have to put the bucks down. That that sucks. Hey, man. We used to have that thing where we thought, you know, maybe it was going to be okay for some people to say, okay, you can be loved and you can be poor. Well, I guess you can't do that these days with American people. No, 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 no. I guess those people in other countries that live off of nothing, but they can love each other forever. I guess that's just a different story. I don't know. Another story I saw on here, since we're getting into the financial aspect, I thought we should go ahead and make mention of <laughs> a new thing going on at Venmo. This is from New York Post a while back. Talking about how they were using, creeps are using Venmo to get dates with sexy strangers. <laughs> so they talked to one woman, Anna Hogan, age 27. <clears throat> and there was a 37 year old man that overheard that she, uh, there was a pizza place she was going to and it was only cash only. And the guy offered to give her a $50 bill if she would Venmo him the same account, the same amount, rather. The brunette paid the man with Venmo and walked away with her hot and ready slices. A few minutes later, she looked down on the phone number and got a $5 Venmo payment from the stranger saying, can I get your number? Well, we all know there are notes that you could put on a cash app, a Venmo, or a PayPal. Those are all in there. And if you want to do a Venmo, you could do a private message, right? A private message on there to ask the question. She didn't reply, but she took the money. <laughs> of course she did. And then she told the post saying, he could have just asked me there while we were with him. You know, it was not attractive. It would have been better if he hit on me in person. Person, excuse me. And the paltry sum was a turnoff, she said as well. So I know Hogan's attractive. Obviously, it might be a little more of a lifestyle because I see her with a, I guess that's what, a, I don't know what martini that is. It's, um, I don't know what kind it is. It's, it's something very uh, fancy of the thing. He should have at least Venmoed me $20 for a drink. And that she says it came off as transactional and gave off sugar daddy vibes or sugar baby vibes. But yes, this phenomenon is real. 
Using Venmo to find love, sending payments along with flirtatious messages to attract to strangers. Something might, it might be cute and crafty. So you might get somebody that might be interested. And she, uh, there was one woman from Chattanooga, Tennessee, Asher Griffith, that says she got a dollar Venmo on her 22nd birthday from a family friend, Grace, whom he had never spoken to in person. It was crushing on from afar, and he shot a shot. And she directed him to go buy himself something real nice from Goodwill. <laughs> I told her she should come with, and that was it. The transaction led to their first date, and four years later, Asher and Grace are now married with a beautiful baby girl. Wow. Venmo. What about that, huh? They also talked to a relationship expert who wrote the book, The Author of the Date, Rory Sassoon, that she cautions that Venmo to approach a stranger may come across as a bad move. Men think they might be trying to buy their way a date if they start a flirtation by sending cash. But some are using it to try to reignite past romances as well. Allie Lickfield blocked her ex on everything at age 25. She thought after a bad breakup, but then she was shocked when she received one set of Venmo asking, Penny, for your thoughts. She gave her ex one more chance and blocked him on Snapchat or sort things out. And when he didn't get the answer he was looking for, he requested to send back and they never spoke again. <laughs> so yeah, Venmo to hook up. Tell me that isn't the praise of the botrus.